Hi friends, and thank you for joining us in this nightly read-along. Don't forget to ask your parent to subscribe so you don't miss any future chapters. Now here's Miss Kate with tonight's chapters. The Year of Billy Miller, Chapter 3 Miss Silver had chopsticks in her hair. That was the first thing Billy noticed about her. Her wavy blonde hair was coiled into a bun and held in place with two shiny red chopsticks. Billy's parents liked to eat with chopsticks sometimes, but he had never seen chopsticks on someone's head before. Without thinking, Billy whispered, chop, chop, as he filed past her. Miss Silver just smiled at him, but then she seemed to be smiling at everyone, even Ned, who asked, how many days of school until summer vacation? There were six tables with four chairs each arranged around the room. Look for the place with your name, said Miss Silver. When you find your place, you may sit down. Here's my seat, said Ned. He pulled out his chair and plopped onto it. Then he patted the tabletop next to him. Sit here, he told Billy. It made sense that he would be next to Ned. After all, they were neighbors and best friends. Maybe Miss Silver knew that they were friends. Billy sat down without looking at the name tag at his place. Billy felt breath on the top of his head. He turned around. Standing too close was a girl he didn't recognize. Her eyes were narrowed to slits. Her arms were crossed, and her fingers were drumming at her elbows at a rapid-fire pace. Excuse me, she said. You're sitting at my place. She paused. Unless your name is Emma Sparks, too. Then we have a problem. The girl stepped aside to let Billy get up. If your name is Billy Miller, you sit there, she said, pointing. If your name is Grace Cotter, you sit there, she pointed again. He must be Ned Henderson, she continued, nodding. And then she pointed once more, this time at Billy. I have a feeling you're Billy Miller. Everything about the girl made it seem to Billy that she should be at least a third grader. She talked like an adult. She walked like an adult. She wore her sweater tied around her waist, which for some reason seemed very adult. Billy shuffled around the table to his spot, kitty corner from Ned. Grace Cotter slipped into her chair. Billy had known Grace since kindergarten. She was so shy she seemed almost invisible. Like vacuums, her wide eyes were sucking in everything. When the four of them had settled into their proper places, Emma Sparks smiled an enormous smile. My nickname's Emster, she told them. You can call me Emster. Billy misheard her. Hamster, he said, in a voice much too loud. Your name is Hamster? Everyone laughed. The laughter was pleasing to Billy. It gave him a tingle. Whispers of hamster rippled throughout the classroom. Emma glared at him. I said emster. E-M-S-T-E-R. All of a sudden, there was a noise like a single penetrating toll of a bell. The laughter quieted. Silence, except for the resonant sound. Miss Silver stood at the front of the room beside her desk, holding a little padded hammer. There was a small bronze gong at the corner of the desk. Thank you, she said in a hushed tone. Whenever you hear the gong, it means I'd like your attention. Billy had never known a teacher with a gong. It had worked like magic. The room was noiseless still. Miss Silver talked about herself for a while, and Billy's mind wandered. The next thing he knew, Ned was kicking him under the table. Say your name and something about yourself, Ned whispered. I'm Billy Miller, Billy said. And I, he couldn't think of anything to say. I'm in second grade. There were giggles, but the students weren't giggling at Billy. They were giggling because they thought what he'd said was funny. A good warm feeling came over him, but not everyone thought he was funny. Emma looked at him, rolled her eyes, and said, You are so dumb. The good, warm feeling vanished. Later, when the students were writing and drawing in their new journals, Emma said to Billy, Maybe you should write that you're in second grade so you don't forget. Billy took two red markers from the bin in the middle of the table. Using both hands, he held up the markers on his head as if they were fiery horns of a devil. Then he stared at Emma with the meanest expression he could manage. Miss Silver happened to be walking by just then. She stopped and looked at Billy for a long moment. Billy froze for a few seconds, then lowered his hands and dropped the markers back into the bin. Miss Silver raised one of her hands to her chopsticks. She frowned. Then she smoothed her hair and walked away. Keep working, everyone, she said. Oh, no, Billy whispered. It dawned on him. Miss Silver thought he was making fun of her. She thought that the two red markers were meant to be her two red chopsticks. She thought, she thought that the ugly face he'd made at Emma was an imitation of her, Miss Silver. Billy didn't know what to do. What he wanted to do was run and run and run around the playground. Running always made him feel better, but he couldn't do that. So in his journal, he drew a picture of a hamster and wrote, hamsters smell bad.